bacteria on oysters can cause food-related illness. UF researchers are studying bacteria growth patterns to determine how to control or prevent the growth on the oysters. Oysters pick up pretty much all kinds of bacteria from the environment. Most of them are pretty harmless. There, are, however, are a few out there that can cause diseases in people. So we just want to understand how they're living on the oyster because it's not their normal host range. Once they get into the marine environment, they seem to be able to colonize oysters and that's an important reservoir of how they're reintroduced back into the human population. Well, one aspect of my project is examining how bacteria live on oysters. So to do that, we actually have to infect oysters with bacteria. So we just get oysters in from Florida. These particular ones are from Apalachicola Bay. And once we get them in, we incubate them in water and then we would introduce the bacteria that we have engineered to tell us something into them. And then they get in in about an hour, it's pretty efficient. And once we do that, we gotta get them back out again. And so we're gonna shuck these oysters and then we're gonna blend them up and then that way we can recover the bacteria. So take our individual oyster here and this notch where the shell comes together is the hinge and that's where we're gonna shuck it from. Our shucking knife, dip it in ethanol run it through the fire to make sure it's nice and sterile. We don't introduce any foreign bacteria in there. And then, there we go. Once we have it cracked, go ahead and separate the muscle from the shell. Now we're halfway, right into the blender. So here we just have a buffer to kind of make sure the bacteria are nice and happy. We're going to add 50 milliliters. And this is the real fun part. Wind them up for 30 seconds. And I like to pulse it first just to get all the chunks broken up. Be nasty. And then just let it go. So what we have here in these petri dishes are various media that we're going to grow the bacteria on. Uh, you can kind of think of it as jello for bacteria. It's got a bunch of sugars and salts and everything you would need if you were a bacteria. So we just want to get 50 microliters. And once we've got the bacteria on the plate, we want to spread them around. Just spread them out in slow circles. So that way instead of one big bunch, we've got a bunch of nice individual colonies we can pick out later. And once that's done, set them off to the side to dry. So now that we've blended up the oysters, recovered the bacteria, and plated them out on media to grow, we're going to put them at 37 degrees, their preferred temperature, so they're nice and happy. Let them grow up overnight, and hopefully tomorrow we'll see nice individual colonies.